I think everything's good. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. The first thing, the first thing I wanted to do today was I want to create a teleport stone in RPG Maker. And what I mean by that is uh, a key item that you can use to remember any given location that you are currently at so that you can teleport back to that location later. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to make this work. It's just something that I had like brainstormed in my head. So uh, we're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Let's go ahead and load a sample world map. Is there a place, oh, here we go. Let's see, we'll, we'll use this. And then we can just put little like teleporter pads. Okay, so let's edit this. We'll rename this teleport main. Uh, let's just put two sample maps in here for right now. So we'll make the mining city and the fishing village. You're gonna start here. We'll make a, an event here that'll take you to one of the towns. Okay, we'll name this teleporter. I wanna turn stepping on to see what the animation looks like. We'll see. And then we'll just have this transfer player to the mining city. And then for the other one, we're basically just gonna copy this paste it and we're gonna have it teleport you to the fishing village instead now let's go ahead and create our item here items can call common events right correct just double checking we're gonna call this the return stone find a nice little icon for this we'll just make it the little white orb i think that's a good thing for it uh can only be used on the menu screen no scope and it is a key item let's make it a key item let's go ahead and make our common event we'll call this common event We'll just call it return stone. And now let's go back to our item here and then we'll have it call that common event. Okay, now begins the real fun. So let's go ahead and show text. Let's just say, what would you like to do? And then show choices. Let's see, return to, we'll just say location one for right now. Uh, we'll, we'll end up putting like a variable in there uh, as the name, but for right now we'll do return to location one, return to location to save location. I wanted to have like a return to last location, but we'll just leave it at this for right now. Return to location one, return to location two. When save location, here's where it's gonna get a little complicated. Let's uh, let's control some variables. Actually, we need to have another show choices icon or a uh, show text, I mean, and then a show choices dialog. Let's see here, which slot would you like to save in? And we're gonna do show choices again. We'll say location one, location two. So save location one, save location two, okay. When location one, we're gonna set some variables here. So control variables, we're gonna have location one X, location one Y, and then I want to space this out. It's a little easier to read. Oh my God, I can't type today. My brain's not working. Location one X, location one Y, location one map ID, and location one name. I'm fairly certain you cannot pull the name data. You can only pull the map ID data. So we'll have to create something or create an event flow that will discern the map ID or the map name from the map ID. So we're going to set location one X to the player's current location. So yeah, see map ID. There's, I don't, I do not believe there's a, a map name. Player map X, control another variable. We're going to take location one Y and set it to players Y, set the map map ID variable to map ID. Okay, let's go ahead and put a comment here and we're gonna we're just gonna say find map name from ID. And then we're gonna create a conditional branch. Well, actually we need to go see what the map ID of that map is. Is it 1617? Yeah, so a conditional branch. If the map ID variable equals 16, then we're going to set the location one name. Hmm, you can't set it to a certain text. I don't think unless you use a script call, this makes it a little more complicated because there's no way to store text. There's no way to store text inside of a variable or a switch. I don't really, I want to do this without using a script call, but I'm not sure there's a way to do that. How are we going to do this? So we can do it a couple different ways. The, the main way that I'm thinking about right now is we get rid of there being a location one and a location two, and we have to, we have this. So return to, we have to make a new conditional branch where if the map ID is equal to 16, then it is going to, let's go put this in here. We can say return to mining city because if the map ID is 16, then it will, like the place will be the mining city. 
my my only gripe with this is that we will only be able to use it for one particular place to return to one place oh you know what we could do we could do this return to mining city return to last location or save location right because last location would be the place you teleported from yeah, let's do it that way i'll have to brainstorm on this some more to kind of see if there's a, a different way to do this there definitely is with a script call i'm su i'm sure you can set t uh text with a script call but i'd rather not do that if at all possible let's go ahead and make some labels here so all this save location put another label here uh, we'll do return to last location and this is just going to jump to label you're going to use this it's going to and you're going to save your location with the stone so it's going to store all of this it's going to evaluate what the map id is so if the map id is 16 it'll say return to mining city we're just going to copy this paste this if map id is 17 it's going to say fishing village turn to mining city transfer player designation with variables id is the map id x is the x and y is the y copy this we're going to paste it right here we probably need to make another label that is save last location data and then above this we need to end event exit event processing we'll also add save or location save we probably need to when you pick this up when you get this item it needs to go ahead and store the location that you get it as of right now it needs to have an initial location because otherwise the common event's not going to work so we need to set we don't even need to call this location one anymore, but we will Let's set this to the player's Y and then we're going to set the map ID. Okay. And then this one is map 15, right? So we just need to add the option for map 15 in here. So we're just going to copy paste, change this to 15 and instead of mining city, it'll say, what is the name of this? Teleport main label, save last location data. So let's control variables. And now we're going to do that. We're going to basically create these same variables. So we're going to say uh, this is last location X, last location Y, and last location ID. And actually, we can just delete this because that doesn't matter. Set this to the player's current X and Y. I'm going to explain all of this in just a minute. Um, so we can kind of go through the event flow and you all can see what the process is. And now we're going to set last location to the player or last location ID to the player's current map ID. I knew I was going to find an issue. It needs to jump to save last location data. And then also at the bottom of this, it needs to exit event processing. Here we need to create a transfer event, last location X. Oh wait, no, it's last location ID, last location X last location Y, and then also exit event processing. And I'm actually gonna put some comments in here to help me explain it easier. Let me see if I can explain this in a better way now. So when you get the return stone, it's gonna make your initial saved location, this teleport main. So you're gonna use the item and it's gonna say, what would you like to do? And it's gonna change the name of the place you wanna return to based off where you saved it. So if you save the location in the mining city, it's going to say, do you want to return to the mining city? If you saved your location in the fishing village, it's going to say, do you want to return to the fishing village? And so on. And it uses your, the map ID, which is down here, to find that out. So if you click return to teleport main, it's going to return to that location that was saved. Okay, which we saved it as soon as we picked up the item. But if you saved it elsewhere, it would return to the place that you saved. When you teleport, it's going to store where you teleported from in your last location data okay so that you could if you wanted to let's say you saved your location in the mining city so you're in the mining city you leave you go to the fishing village you decide i want to go back to the mining city i i forgot to you know visit the blacksmith teleport to my save location which you have saved as the mining city you teleport to it because it saved where you teleported from you open your teleporter again you say return to my last location and it'll take you back to the fishing village and you still have the mining city saved in your uh in your return your teleport zone so it's probably a little easier if i just show you how it works i think everything is correct oh actually i see i see something we need to fix before it crashes uh we need to go ahead and initially set last location also to 
um, teleport main here. Otherwise, if we try to use last location, it's going to crash. Or either that or nothing's going to happen, one or the other. This should work. Let's uh, let's give it a play test. So we have we should have our teleport stone in the key items. Okay, let's use it. What would you like to do? Return to teleport main, return to last location, or save the current location? Uh, if we return to last location, it should teleport us here. Perfect. Uh, let's use... Use it again. Oh, it's, it's a one-use item. Rip. <laughs> we got to fix that. We got to fix that. All right, let's try this again. Return to last location. Bam. Uh, return to teleport main. Oh, there we are. Beautiful. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. Um, so now let's go to the mining town. That teleporter meant to be something you could step on, but you know. And let's go ahead and use the key item to return to teleport main. There we go. So we have this area saved as our main location. Because the item saves the last place you teleported from in there. If we use our key item now and go return to last location, it should take us back to the mining city. And it did not. So that's not good. Let's figure out why that happened. Oh, because we actually don't have this. There we go. We don't have this in these branches. There we go. Yeah, we actually didn't have, uh, if you saved in two particular places, it actually wouldn't store your last location data. So let's try this again. All right, now we're in the mining city. Let's use our stone to go back to teleport main. Now we should be able to return to our previous location and it should take us back to the mining city. And it doesn't. Why does it not do that? Why does it not do that? Oh, I see. It's because it's doing this after teleporting. So it's saving the location, the last location after we teleport, which is literally the place we just teleported to that's why what we need to do is we can actually delete this. we can actually take this out and put it down here and now it should jump straight down here save our current location as our last location then teleport us to the new one okay that should work sorry about that but now since we made some fundamental changes we need to go ahead and test it uh all over again let's go ahead and teleport main okay Go to last location. Oh, beautiful. I think it's working now. Okay. Uh, and so let's go here. And we're going to teleport to teleport main. All right. Works. Now let's teleport to the last location. Yes, we did it. I actually don't have a way to jump to... I want to save a different location so that we can see the... We can see the map name change right here. So I need to add a teleporter. Well, first of all, I need to fix this teleporter. I, I, it's driving me nuts that you can't actually stand on it. The mining village, and we'll just uh, we'll just stick it right here. That's fine. Copy this one, and we're going to put it in the fishing village. You still have to press enter on it, which I'm not a fan of, but whatever. It, it, it works. All right, let's save location. Location saved. And now if we use it, it should say return to mining city. Hallelujah. So let's go here. Let's go to the fishing village. And then we're going to use this item to return to the mining city. And now we can use it to go back to our last location, which was the fishing village. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It works. That was an incredibly complicated way to do it. And there's probably some things we could iron out for like a future version, but I, it, it worked well. Like it, it does what it's supposed to do. So pretty, uh, pretty thrilled about that. So you basically you just need to add an exit event processing for the cancel because if they don't want to use it, then, you know, obviously nothing should happen. That's our, that's our teleport stone. We, we did it. Hopefully it was not as difficult to keep track of as it felt like it was to create, but uh, this was a, this was a really good time. I had a, had a great time making this. Now that I have that though, and we've, we've learned some things from this, I am very skeptical that we're going to be able to make fly the HM fly from the Pokemon games. 
I'm very skeptical that we're going to be able to make that in a way that makes sense. Um, or at least that is similar to the, the way that Pokemon does it. Um, because already, you know, Pokemon has like brings up a world map and allows you to choose on the world map where you want to go. If we wanted to recreate that in RPG Maker, we would have to create like a picture of the world map, which I guess I don't have a world map on here. We'd have to create a picture of the world map and use the show picture command to be able to make that. I don't know. That one... Fly is is the one of the ones I thought would be the easiest. The more I think about it, the more I think it might be the most complex. I, I'm still brainstorming on that. We'll we'll see what we can do for now. I think the teleport stone or the return stone works pretty well. Hopefully next time we do this, we'll be making fly.